Hey Scorpio, welcome to your December 2019 reading. So I'm tuning into your energies for December and I'm just bringing through some intuitively channeled messages for you guys. So the first thing that I'm picking up is that December is going to be a month of clarity for you. You're going to be able to see clearly elements of your life that for a while have been sort of dampened in illusion or in secrecy or in darkness for some reason you haven't been able to fully see this situation or this person for what or who they are so there's going to be as well this sort of like soul calling in you to really let go of something from like that isn't serving you anymore and to really just let it die um, I don't know what this will be for each and every one of you will be something different. Unfortunately, for some of you, it might be a relationship that needs to, to go in order for something really beautiful to come in. For others of you, it's simply a, a death of an old way of being. Like We all know that there are aspects of ourselves that aren't serving us, but it's just whether we can take action on that or whether it's a priority, you know what I mean? So I think December is going to push you into needing to prioritize something that you might have been putting off for a while but ultimately it's going to give you a lot of clarity and freedom and you're going to feel like really grateful that you finally were able to take action and move out of a situation that for a long time had become quite stagnant so yes remember to like shine your light this month don't dim your light for anybody um you know there is this element of fire in your month of December. I know we're going to be moving into Sagittarius season, which is a fire sign. However, I'm just seeing this need for you to be like a fire and really burn away things that are extraneous or that are weighing you down you, um, and really like really alchemize your life, be the alchemist of your own life. All right, Scorpio, those are your intuitive messages. Um, so I'm going to basically shuffle your tarot, then we're going to channel with you, like we're going to channel together. So we're going to do your general energies. We're going to do week one, week two, week three, and week four. And then we're going to have a focus card for you. And I might need to draw upon this deck to clarify, but we'll see how we go. All right, so I'm going to put this away until the end of the reading. Now, let's go into your general energy. Ooh, so we have the Empress and the Ace of Cups. Wow. So I'm instantly reading this as self-love as well as love with a partner. So it's going to be very balanced. Like there's going to be this, you're going to really be able to, um, Oh, there's so many messages coming through. You're going to be able to breathe in, breathe in someone's love, I'm hearing. Like, they're going to be like a breath of fresh air, or you're going to have a breath of fresh air in an existing relationship. Things are going to feel sexy between you guys, or you're just going to feel sexy and single and okay with that. Whatever situation you're in, whether you're single, in a relationship, in separation, or possibly meeting someone in December, you know, it's going to make you feel really good. You're going to be like, yes, finally an opportunity to focus on me, for example, or yes, finally I've met this person that I've been waiting for, you know. So really, really, really loving energies. You want to be feeling really confident in your sexuality and in your attractiveness and in your sex appeal. You're going to be feeling really possibly like a little bit indulgent in December which is cool I think it's a good season to indulge the senses you know whether that's with wine or with food or with music or with sex you know really just enjoying the pleasures of life this is really um Taurus energy so Taurus is your sister sign so I think this is really good especially moving out of Scorpio season for you guys which I'm sure you know you probably handle it better than any of any others of us. However, you know, I think you still need a break too from Scorpio season. You still need that balancing out, which is exactly what Taurus offers you guys. So ta this Taurus energy, like this self-love, this love of life, this love of the, the um, pleasures that we can engage with in life, it's really going to carry you through December. I think
think that as well, you're going to feel really aligned in with what you value and really able to like um, express to people that you value, like how, how valuable they are to you. So this could just be friends, but as well, definitely you're going to be able to express that to a loved one or a lover. And they're going to really reciprocate that. There's a lot of mutual attraction here in December. I think that you're going to be very, very popular in December. Like people are just going to be very drawn to your energy. Even if you're already in a relationship, you might be getting offers, you know, or people hitting you up and stuff like that. Because there's just this sex appeal that is in your aura this month, Scorpio, and it's undeniable. It's very magnetic and yet radiant at the same time so your aura is kind of like magnetizing in everything that you want and it's also radiating out the projection into the world that you are wanting to project powerful okay let's go into week one the hierophant and the ten of pentacles wow <laughs> so there's a few ways <sighs> There's a lot of messages coming in. So basically, I'm going to start with this can also be family, you guys. So for some of you, if you've grown up in a religious family, I think there's going to be some kind of like reconciliation happening there or just within your own self. Like you want to finally like maybe have clarity about what growing up in that situation really did to you and really like moving forwards in a healing way or some element of forgiveness of certain people if they you know, we're kind of forcing religion onto you. That's just for some people, for some, like for others, it's just going to be kind of this reconciliation within a family unit or group. For others of you, it's going to be getting paid for being this spiritual teacher or getting paid for whatever um, knowledge that you are able to channel from the divine. You know, there's going to be a recognition I think a lot of you Scorpios are naturally psychic, like you're naturally probably the most psychic sign that exists. So, you know, maybe you're finally going to have recognition from that in the public sphere or you're going to somehow incorporate that into your job or into the way that you make money. And it's really going to make you, yeah, just have that edge that no one else has. You know, your connection to the sacred or your connection to the divine is maybe going to be that that thing that gets you that job. You know, when there's 50 other applicants, you get the job because you just have that sparkle to you. You just have a spark of something more. <laughs> so you're, you're very attractive this month. I think, yes, this could definitely mean you get a job with this Ten of Pentacles or you get some kind of money news like you realize you're getting a promotion or you realize you're you know just money <laughs> money's gonna feel good this month especially first week news about money recognition for your teaching possibly recognition for your skills and abilities reconciliation with family okay week two temperance and the ace um the night of swords okay so <laughs> this is such a cool like energy because it's kind of the opposite energy so temperance is about patience and the knight of swords is impatient the knight of swords is incredibly urgent he knows what he wants he's going after it that's that you know there's not a lot of compromise with the knight of swords and yet temperance is all about balance it's all about harmonizing relationships you know it's all about needing to compromise needing to to be in balance in our partnerships the knight of swords is like i know what i want that's that <laughs> you know and they're just going to solitarily go after it so there's a real push and pull energy happening for you week two where you're called upon to be patient and yet every cell in your body is impatient right so it's going to be challenging, but you know, it's challenging in the best possible way, I think, because I think this is sort of like this push or this um, pressure that is that is really creating in you uh, something like a diamond. Yeah. So there's this pressure on on you to not act on that urgency, on you to be patient, on you to see the longer road, see how there's ne it's necessary that you persevere in certain ways and not just like cut and run. But again, I'm just getting this image of like a diamond is created under pressure. And I think this is really the energy for you week two, because 
temperance offers us a lot of rewards temperance offers us spiritual fulfillment almost like it's the path to enlightenment you guys so this is huge there's a lot of spiritual energy for you a lot of love energy um yeah let's go to week three two of wands and the magician Scorpio you're like knocking me out this reading I'm just blown away <laughs> wow yeah so week three look week three it's like you're finally just if there was any kind of shakiness this month or even this year in terms of you standing in your power you are over it you are standing in your power week three like hook or by crook you're just doing it <laughs> so you're really in touch week three with how and what you are manifesting so you know how to manifest like I'm seeing you really standing in your power and being like hell, hell yeah this is what I want this is what I'm going after and you're incredibly like um, able to achieve anything you set your mind to Scorpio because you have the most incredible focus you really do you're able to create things this magician is talking about that raw creative power creative in, in terms of creating form you know so creating that dream job or creating that family creating that home and the two of the two of wands is talking about future planning so i'm seeing that you are considering your future which is exactly what week two was asking you to do right it was asking you to be patient and look at the long road and you are integrating that into week three you're looking into the future and you are manifesting you're making a plan of everything that you are going to do achieve and accomplish and you're going to do it there's no doubt in my mind this is very very positive with the power of the magician behind you honestly you will not fail so manifest you know manifest that's what i'm hearing <laughs> week four the ten of swords and the six of swords okay so the message i'm getting around the ten of swords is that when we are like there's going to be this big progression for you in december where you're going from somewhere that you are and you're seeing where you want to be right and so there's going to be in the fourth week this little bit of an in-between energy where you are no longer where you were and yet you haven't reached where you want to go yet so it's going to be a bit challenging for you there's going to be things like self-doubt coming up maybe a little bit of fear even fear of success you know sometimes we think we're only afraid of failure but at times we have these subconscious fears of success so I think that this is stuff that's going to be coming out for you week four because you are so in touch with your destiny because you are so close to everything that you have ever wanted so it's sort of like this you're, you're faced with the emptiness of you have let go of things that you needed to let go of and yet that space hasn't yet been filled with what it is that you want so there's this real um, challenge energy in week four for you to not just like run back to your set your comfort zone into the safety of what you have known there's this real push from spirit to go after what it is that you want the six of swords is pushing you out into the world it's pushing you to get distance to see things clearly to have clarity and it's also pushing you to take the highest perspective that is available to you and that means you know god's perspective or spirit's perspective take the higher perspective see things for what they are see things in the bigger picture not just this ten of swords moment that you have and really look after yourself honestly this could be challenging you know i'm not trying to downplay it but it's rooted down by the six of what the six of swords and the six of swords is saying get distance check your perspective check your perception of things right make sure you're not seeing something that isn't even there or worrying about something that is not yet in form right so week four it's your first hiccup of the month you guys <laughs> let's do your um focus card inner wisdom it says you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay oh yeah I, I would agree with that Scorpio I think you are incredibly wise <laughs> incredibly intuitive and incredibly able to take action without delay you're very good at taking action like I said you're just I think this is also talking about 
you know, you actually finally seeing things, you know, seeing things very, very clearly and having to take action on that, you know, and, and having to trust your inner wisdom and your intuition and, and really like becoming in alignment with that intuitive knowing, almost that psychic ability that Scorpios naturally have, right? Not even trying to say you are a psychic, but you might be, but Scorpios just have this edge of like, they just know things. <laughs> it's creepy sometimes. All right, Scorpio, thank you for watching this reading and spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. I love Scorpios. You're like my favorite sign. So thank you for watching. And I'm going to have the, um, the like yearly forecast for 2020 out soon. So stay tuned. All right. Bye.